Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to check out the inner workings of the waiting queue in Battle Royale Tycoon. Let's get started. So a very important part of the game is having guests queue to enter buildings. I always loved seeing massive queues going into a really popular roller coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon, so that was one of my main things that I needed to implement. So I have my scene here, and it's the actual game scene from Battle Royale Tycoon. The game is still very much in early development. If you like the concept of the game, add to your wishlist and follow. What we want to go through this video is the waiting queue in here. As you can see, the guests wait in the queue until the ones inside the building are done. And when the guests inside the building leave the building, the others go in. So this is the behavior we want to create. Okay, so what do we need to make a queue? Well, first of all, we need a list of all the positions of each guest in our queue, then we need to keep track of who is in what position and who is at the front of the queue. When we add a new guest, we need to tell him to the position where he should go to. And we need a position for the entrance to the queue, which is a position in here that the guest goes in before going into its specific position in the queue. And we also need a way for the building that this queue is connected, since these are two separate objects. We need a way for the building using this queue to request the guest at front when he has a space. So when a guest leaves, he requests a guest from the queue. And if there's no guest waiting, then the queue needs to notify the building when one finally shows up. Okay, so let's go into our code and start off by making the queue position. So here on my game handler, I have my start function being executed on start. And in here, I'm going to create a list of vector three and populate it with five positions. So in here, first, let's set up my first position in the queue, which in the scene I have here for testing is located at 742A. So this is the first position for my queue. So let's put all the other positions to the left of this one. So let's go make a basic int zero less than five, five plus plus. And I'm going to need a list for my vector three, which is the waiting queue position list. So in here, let's go into my list and add a position. The position will be based on the first position and then we want to go to the left, so plus a new vector 3 with the x at minus 1, the y at 0, and we're going to multiply this by a position size. Float position size equals, let's say, 8f per position. Okay, so we should have this list of vector 3s, which will contain 5 positions, starting at the first position and moving to the left. Okay, so now that I have my waiting position list, I'm going to go into my waiting queue and set up a constructor that will receive our list of positions. So public tm waiting queue, and here I'm going to receive a list of vector threes for my position list. Okay, so we now have our internal position list. Let us also calculate the entrance position, which will be where the guest goes in order to enter the queue. So make another member variable, a vector three, which is the entrance position. In order to calculate that entrance position, we're going to make it based on the last position, position list, position list dot count minus one. And for now, let us just move our entrance position to the left of the last position. So plus new vector three of minus eight F and zero. Later on, we want to calculate the entrance position based on the direction of the last two positions, but for now, this should work. Okay, so to make sure that our positions are being correctly instantiated, let's create some debug sprites. So I'm going to go up here using the codemonkey.utilities, which is always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com, and I'm going to go into create a new world sprite and I'm going to create it on every single position. So for each vector three position in position list, I'm going to create a new world sprite on the position. Let's give it a local scale of 0 0.3, 0.3f, and color dot green. Okay, so we should now be able to see some green sprites on the position of our queue. And obviously we have to go back into our game handler here and actually create our waiting queue with our waiting queue position list. And here when we're creating our positions, we also need to multiply by our index. Otherwise they would all be on the first position. And in our waiting queue, let's create another sprite for our entrance position and give it a different color. 
All right, as you can see, we have successfully created our positions. This is the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, and finally our entrance position. So the guest will go into this position before being relocated into its own specific position. So let's now deal with adding guests to our queue. So in here on my waiting queue, I'm going to need a list to hold all of our guests. So let's make a private list of my guests and call it guest list. Now the index positions in this list will match the indexes in this list. So the guest at index zero will match the position at index zero. Let's instantiate it in here. And first let's make a function to test if we can add a new guest. So I'm going to go a public bool can add guest and it's simply going to return if our guest list dot count if it is less than the position list dot count. So if we have less guests than positions, then we can add another one. Now let's make a public void add guest, which will receive a guest object. So this is the function that will be called when the guest wants to enter the queue. So let's send them to the entrance position first. We're going to send our guest to move to our entrance position. And we're also going to add them to our guest list. Now my move function here takes a position and a action which will be triggered when you rise at set position. So let's set up that action. So when the guest arrives at the entrance position, I'm going to want to move him towards his own position on the queue. So it will be the position list of the same index as where he is. So of the same index as the guest list dot index of this guest. So right now, when we add a guest, we add him to the list, we move him to the entrance position. When you rise at the entrance position, this function gets called and this function will send him to his own position on the list. Okay, so here I am back in my game. You can still see the positions of my waiting queue and I have a button here to add a guest to my queue. And when I press it, one of these guests will be chosen at random and he will move towards the entrance position and then towards his own position. So let's click it. And let's wait for someone to show up. And there he is, he's moving to the entrance position and then he goes to his own position. Here's another one, he goes to the entrance and then to his position, yep. As you can see, everything is working exactly as we want to. They go to the entrance position, then to their own position. Now for our next step, we want the building that the queue is connected to, to be able to request guests from our queue. And the queue should be able to send the guest that is in front. So in here, I'm going to create a public function, which will return a guest object and call it get first in queue. So in here, we only want to return if there's actually someone waiting in the first position. So if guest list dot count equals zero, so there are no guests waiting here, then we're going to return null. If not, then we do have guests waiting in our queue and we want to return the one that is on the guest list of zero. However, before we return him, we have to remove him from the queue since he's no longer going to be waiting in our queue. So I'm going to store a reference to my guest, which will be the one that is on position zero. I'm going to remove him from the list and finally return him. Okay, so now we have a function that our building can call to request the first guest in our queue. So in order to test, let's go into our game handler here to create another CM debug button on the UI. Going to place it on the right side of that button. Going to say get guest and the action that it will perform will go into our waiting queue and get the first guest in our queue. If our guest is not null, so if we have grabbed a guest, then let's just move him to a position on the right side. So go guest.move to our first position plus new vector three, let's say 500 zero. Just move him away. Okay, so we should now see a button pop up. When we click that button, we request the first guest that is waiting in the waiting queue. If he does return, if there is someone waiting in there, we're going to move him to a position on the right side. Okay, here I am. Let's request a guest. Wait for him to arrive. Okay, there he is. And now let me click guest. And there you go. He grabbed the first guest from the queue and sent him away. Let's grab a couple more. 
Okay, I have two guests waiting in my queue. Let's grab the first one. Boom, there he goes. And now if I click, I can still grab the second one, but as you can see, we have an issue here. This guest did not move forward. So I can grab him, it works okay, but he needs to reposition when someone is removed from the queue. So in my waiting queue here, let's make a private void and call it relocate all guests. And now in here, I want to send every single guest to his own position. So for int equals zero, less than guest list dot count, and I'm going to grab the guest in that index and I'm going to move him towards the position list of the same index. And in here, when I grab the first guest from the queue, let's relocate all others. Now let's go take a look at it. Okay, here I am, let's add some guests. Okay, so I have my guests in my queue. Let's grab the first one and see if the others get repositioned. There he goes, boom, that one goes away and the others move forward. And there he goes and the others move forward. And there you have it, a very simple waiting queue where we can add guests to the queue and grab the one waiting in front. In the next video, we're going to create a test building to request guests and have them perform an action. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright, see you next time.